These are uh, two videos of uh, my first surgeries with the univitectomy system. This uh, new device from Alcon is uh, clearly a game changer. You can see uh, now these special micro cannulas that help you to insert them into the eye without holding the micro cannula and they also make it easy to put instruments in. You see the uh, mobile shaft that helps you to increase the stiffness of the instruments, the excellent illumination and the vitrectomy probe. But the most important thing of this system is the new pump. This new pump is a peristaltic pump, or, or, although you can also use the, an, a real venturi pump when you are walking under air and it helps you to perform vitrectomy in a really controlled manner with perfect control of the flow and reducing the risk of retinal uh, trauma. Also, when you are doing your peripheral vitrectomy, this system allows you to know whether you are into the vitreous or no by the sound. In this case, despite the pacing was uh, quite myop, I could remove, uh, and it was a lamellar macular hole, I could remove the vitreous cases and the retinal membrane and ILM with 27G uh, forceps. Because this uh, um, uh, sapt and these microcannulas allow you to introduce uh, more the, the instruments into, into the eye. You can see how nicely I can perform the peripheral vitrectomy and saving it with a very little traction to the peripheral retina. Also in this case there, were, uh, there was a localized uh, retinal uh, detachment and as you can see you can have a perfect control of the sphere of the influence and also of the, uh, any, uh, avoiding any uh, retinal uh, trauma. Now I'm doing the fluid air exchange, I'm doing it with the peristaltic pump although uh, you can uh, avoid the problems that you may have with uh, the peristaltic pump and the rear with the venturi pump that is also built in, in the system and I'm using this tetraspot laser which is awesome uh, it helps you to, to do laser uh, very fast in a wide uh, area so in this case I finished using some PRP and fortunately in this case I didn't have to do any sutures thanks to operating with 27G and this was another case, another myopic, uh, highly myopic patient with uh, uh, another macular uh, pathology. And now I'm performing my vitrectomy with 27G. It is super safe, as you can see in this case, very controlled, no retinal tears. I can save the vitreous addition to those areas of uh, uh, peripheral lattices. And now I'm injecting um, a triamcinolone to look for vital skysis and washing it out and after this I could uh, remove some debris of uh, vital skysis and epiretinal membrane. You can see here in this area there is a, a vitreous attachment to the periphery anterior to the lattice. I tried to detach it and to remove any traction from the lattice to the peripheral retina and I could match. But in this case I saw was so long that I had to change for a 23G um, microcannula to reach the posterior pole and to remove first the vitreous cases and then the ILM, as you can see now. The ingenuity system in this case allowed me to have a superb visualization of the posterior pole. I'm not so keen on using these 3D systems, but certainly this new uh, software and the combination with the um, uh, Unity system are a uh, step forward and these were uh, my two first experience with the system and I think that this is uh, really a game changer in the vitro retinal surgery.